Here we've got quite a basic nylon sheath with space for something in here. It doesn't come with anything in there, but you could put a sharpening stone in or ferro rod would fit quite nicely in here. You've got an adjustable leg tie here, which at the moment is all bunched up. I don't need the leg tie, so that'll stay bunched up. Useful cordage here. You've got numerous fixing points, including two belt loops here with Velcro. And the knife is held in place with a press stud. Overall, it's very, very well made, very practical. Has the useful addition of a little pocket there. The one thing that I would say against this design is that the nylon here is looped over, so you've got double thickness. For this side of the press stud, you've only got single thickness for this side. Now this press stud will become easier to take off, but at the moment it's a little bit stiff and I'm slightly worried that this fit in here will tear through. It wouldn't have done that if you'd had double thickness. That's the only minor gripe about this. There's our knife, a little bit of Russian writing on here, AK-47, I understand that bit. Entire length of knife, 24.5 centimetres. Blade length, 9.5 centimetres. Handle length, 15 centimetres. Blade shape is almost like a tanto knife, with a double edge on here, and there's also a bottle opener here. It's full tang in that it's made from a single piece of steel, and the steel is 440C stainless steel. That's a high carbon one. It's got quite a, an aggressive sort of design to it. And this is made from something called K10 complex fibre. Now I have no idea what that is, but it feels like a slightly rubberized, non-slip plastic. It's a fairly comfortable knife to hold, and overall it seems very, very well constructed. It's exceptionally sharp as well. There you go. It's actually sharp enough to shave with, right out the box. So that's the technical specs out of the way, let's see how it performs. Now we're going to see what it's like making feather sticks. Here we've got a piece of very, very dry hazel. Hazel's a sort of hardwood, and as we know, very, very hard. See how it gets on. Quick test making feather sticks. No problem. Try and cut through some straight dead hazel hardwood. No problem. Get a thicker bit now. Yeah, that's more like it. No problem at all. Beautifully clean cut. Yep. Now let's give it a try on a piece of dead larch. As we know, this is very, very hard stuff as well. So it'll be interesting to see if a straight cut can actually get through here. Uh, and if it does, how quickly it can do it. Right, now that is approximately ooh, 40 mil, inch and a half, maybe it's a little bit more thick. Bone dry, very, very hard. That's absolutely fused in there. God, that's totally stuck. 
Right, I've managed to get it out. Let's try going through from the other way. how hard that is, how compact it is. Went through very, very cleanly though. With not a bit of damage to the blade. That's still smooth as anything. Razor sharp. We'll just give it the hairy arm test again. It's still shaving. I mentioned before that this knife is very well constructed, very robust, full tang, etc, etc. It's also very well balanced as well. Forward target, flip, backward target. Hopefully you'll never need to do that, but if you do, it's a good tool for the job. Also it throws reasonably straight if it's released early. A little bit of hardened resin on the top here, off where I was bashing it with the stick. No chips or blemishes at all in the blade. Still exceptionally sharp. You tell me that isn't worth a tenner. I'm sorry. What did you say? A tenner? Yep, that's all it is. Got this from Gear Best. Chinese company. The ship from China. This is under a tenner. I think it was on there $12.16 or something, $12 US, that's absolutely nothing for something of this quality. No reason why people taking up bushcraft, outdoor skills, survival sort of things, can't have decent gear at a ridiculously low price. I'm very, very impressed. So really, if I had to sum this particular knife up in one word, um, probably be, damn! Under a tenner? I still can't get over that. Now I got this one sent by Gearbest to review. They wanted me to take a look at it, test it, and let you guys know what I thought of it. I'm very, very impressed. Genuinely impressed. And even if it was twice the price, 20 quid, it'd still be worth it. Very, very good. Very good. With the addition of a little fire steel in there, you're good to go. A very practical size. Not so sure about the practicalities of the handle and the shape of it. It is meant to look like an AK-47 minus the magazine. But it performs very, very well. A very, very good tool. You know, certainly good for shelter building, the game prep, fire sticks. That's pretty much all you need in the way of a bushcraft knife. It may look a little bit more tactical and a little bit more aggressive than your standard bushcraft knives but it does the job very very well. Just a quick note about Gearbest's website it's extremely expansive and there's a hell of a lot of outdoor gear there. If you ever search for outdoor gear on eBay and Amazon you'll have probably seen quite a lot of the things that are available on the Gearbest website but it's all in one place and it's all very, very reasonably priced as well. I'm looking forward to testing more gear, more outdoor gear from them. And I suggest you take a look at the website. Link in the video description. Thanks very much for watching this review video of the AK-47 outdoor knife. Happy bushcrafting and I shall see you next time.